Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy JD, I hope you've all had a great day, I hope you've all had a great weekend in total. We need to talk about this issue today because the way we're seeing this film being covered in the leftist liberal media is quite honestly very telling and very strange. I'm sure a load of you have heard about this film we're going to be talking about today, The Sound of Freedom, and if you haven't heard about this film, you might find a reason as to why within this video. The Sound of Freedom is all about anti-child trafficking based on a true story, raises a lot of awareness to this issue, a very barbaric and disgusting issue that simply should not be going on, and it's doing very well at the box office, very well indeed, and we're going to talk about some of the stats in just a minute, but I just want to briefly touch on, and we'll talk about it throughout this video, but I just want to briefly touch on the leftist liberal media going out of their way to essentially insult and mock this film at every chance they get there actively discouraging people to go ahead and watch this film. You know, regardless of what political side you're on, you know, whether it's on the right or the left, this should be one of the many issues we're all coming together on and saying, hey, look, enough is enough. This is disgusting. This is barbaric and it needs to end now. But the leftist liberal media are going in the opposite direction. As I said, they're mocking this film and labeling it all a conspiracy. Now, the reason as to why they're going about in this way is obviously left up to interpretation. And I want you guys to leave your comments down below as to why they may be doing this. But moving on to some more positive news, given the strange circumstances surrounding this film, it is doing exceptionally well. The Sound of Freedom becomes top grossing July 4th movie, beating out Indiana Jones. Angel Studios' Sound of Freedom took the top spot in sales July 4th, surpassing Disney's widely panned Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. The action film starring Jim Caviezel is based on the true story of former federal agent Tim Ballard and his mission to save children from human trafficking. On its first day, the film took the number one spot at the box office, grossing over $14 million through pay it forward and direct box office sales. The film has reportedly earned nearly all of its budget back on its opening day. Sound of Freedom beat Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which played in nearly 2,000 more theatres and had a reported budget of $295 million. The franchise sequel took in $11 million and a second place slot on July 4th. Audiences gave the movie an A-plus cinema score and a 100% score on movie rating site Rotten Tomatoes. Thanks to fans around the country, Sound of Freedom earned the top spot as America's number one movie on Independence Day, O'Neill Harmon, CEO of Angel studios announced in its press release and now because of all of this woke hollywood the woke media are actively discouraging people to go ahead and watch it and you know it's very interesting they've managed to beat the indiana jones film because you know disney as we'll get into in a bit actually took some action with the sound of freedom film many years ago so some may call this a dose of karma but we've got this cnn clip to play of these uh, presenters going a little bit into meltdown over this film and calling it again a load of conspiracy and people are leaning into certain conspiracy groups take a watch with somebody like jim caviezel he is openly embracing it he's openly using its catchphrases and its concepts he's speaking at QAnon conventions and this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon but claim they don't know what it is and The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue of sex trafficking. Uh, but that theme, it, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, tell us how those two things work together. Sure. And the most durable and the most believable conspiracy theories are not entirely false. There's something in them that is true and the rest of it is false. But the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. In terms of child trafficking, we know trafficking is real. We know it has real victims. No one is denying that. But these films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel and by extension only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. So there's a very participatory element. You're not just going to see a movie, you're just killing two hours on a hot day. You are helping bring down these these rings and save children. Now, it's not true, but it's a very comforting and it's a very warm feeling to have. See, what I just don't understand is how a movie that is all about protecting children, saving children, is now political. You know, as I've said at the beginning, regardless if you're left or right, everybody should be coming together on this one, but one side is so desperate to go 
in another direction. And as I mentioned earlier, Disney took some action on this film around five years ago, I think it was, because this film just wasn't recently made. It was all completed in 2018. But Walt Disney actually bought this film and shelved it. And the creators of this film, people involved, had to fight tooth and nail to make sure they got this film back so it could be released. Now, I don't understand why Disney would personally do this. Surely they don't want a brand image of actively trying to silence and suppress a message of protecting and saving kids all to do with child trafficking you know and it is and you know some say again it could be a dose of karma as the indiana jones film does absolutely terribly on july the 4th and then you look at how much money they're losing you know billions as a whole because also they've gone down this woke route they deserve what they're getting at this rate this film should be receiving support across the world but there are people organizations out there actively trying to smear it. Even in this country, The Guardian are trying to smear this film. And those acts, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, warrant justifiable questions. Now, to close out this video, I want to play, some may call it, a very emotional interview with Jim Caviezel, where he spoke to Fox News about this film and the way they're so passionate about this, passionate about making sure this message gets out there is great to see and i want you guys to see it as well if you haven't already take a watch and this look this subject matter is yeah. very hot something hollywood has not touched before yeah. and now there's this battle going on between sound of freedom and disney's indiana jones i'm going to read you this is from deadline all industry eyes are watching the anomaly of this non-major studio independent title that has faith-based elements some pre-release projections had Sound of Freedom doing 11 million to 15 million dollars over six days, not one day. Jim, the film being shown in only 2,600 theaters compared to Indiana Jones, 4,600. It has made 14 million dollars in one day. Indiana Jones made 11.7. What's going on here? Why is Disney fighting? They're saying the pre-sales shouldn't count, but they do count. You're the number one movie. Yeah. Well. It, this isn't about them, and it's not about Angel Studios putting it out. It's about the children mm. and, um, and Americans waking up right now. And the only way these laws are going to be changed is that if the people move right now to save them. This is a good versus evil story. This is a battled hero story. Mm. And I was very blessed that I got the opportunity, just as I was blessed to do The Passion of the Christ. And this is the best film I've done since that film. Mm. It is a controversial issue. It shouldn't be. We should just be naturally wanting to save our children. But again, there's those out there that want to exploit them. Yeah. It's curious to me that Disney had an opportunity to distribute this film when they bought 20th Century Fox. They let that go. And now Sound of Freedom has shown Indiana Jones the dial of destiny, which is pointing to extinction, I think. Raymond, we are not Disney's film. We are the people's film. Mm. Can we love our children? Can we love God's children more than we fear evil? That's the challenge here. And Americans are up to it. I love it. And they hear the sound of freedom because God's children are no longer for sale. All we can say is, you know, congratulations to everybody involved with this. Angel Studios, the actors, investors, and all the people that went ahead and watched this film, especially, you know, getting this film away from Disney so you can reveal it to the world. It's something that, you know, really deserves applauding. And I hope, we can only hope as well, this encourages other film creators to come out and make their own films exposing certain things that go on within the world. Because, you know, a lot of people, the average person, don't even know this sort of thing goes on. Because it's such a disgusting and barbaric thing, it doesn't comprehend like something as terrible as child trafficking could actually happen within the world. These sort of films deserve a place because people really do deserve to know what is going on. The more awareness, around these issues, the more eyes on these issues, the better. But that is the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed today, please for me, make sure to leave a like rating, leave your comments down below as to why you think the leftist liberal media are acting in this way, and leave your comments down below if any of you have watched this film, what are your thoughts on it? Leave a review down below, I'm interested to see how you guys felt about the film. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.